you rarely have discussions about management uh, about management medicines at a, a, a board level across across any of the organisations I've, um, I've I've worked with. It's 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 it's, it's very much the domain in, in my experience of of of, of the, the chief pharmacist medicine officer, the, the professional strand that goes through that, and that that is managed as a function of of organisations, but. But but rarely is is the sort of strategic direction of medicine sort of sort of d debated at an, uh, an organisational level. I think I think that's pro probably fair enough. That's not not saying that's right or wrong. It's just, just a just just a factor. I think I think the there is ine inevitably a financial um, uh, dimension uh, to it, and organisations and systems are put under a lot of uh, pressure to be um, um, to to be. Uh, yeah, unit unit efficient as, as, as essentially from a for a for a pricing point of view. Um, but, but we've also had in recent years massive exposure to national supply chain um, uh, vulnerabilities and international supply chain vulnerabilities that has, that has really really hit hit organisations across the board quite uh, quite hard. So, so mitigating those sorts of pressures is is, is really important. I, I think there's some I think there's some really interesting things around the, the how how we build wider. Value propositions for, um, for 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 medicines and, and and devices across across the board. So, at, at the moment, the, the debate is too often overly simplistic between you know the, the, this cost is lower than that that than, than than that cost, whereas actually we've been able to do things differently around actually that yeah that that one requires x less of district nurse time to administer in in the community and therefore it releases 15 percent of workforce capacity and therefore the economic gain is um, um to, to to the system is x and y or or on the on the on the surgical side there's i think there's there's different sorts of commercial partnerships that i think we can be exploring that that perhaps offer exclusivity of of, of product but then a, a different partnership around training or investment in facilities or or or, 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 or things like that so, so so i think there's I, th I think we need to slightly move away from just competing on on units of product, and and then more about strategic partnerships with organisations that are more bit, bit bit more holistic in terms of the knowledge and impact on the on 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 healthcare the healthcare business overall, if you like.